So welcome to Baxa Rupiana, the podcast about peace and pro prosperity here in Dubrovnik in front of the public administration building of the Croatian state and the region here. And I call for federal Croatia. It's time to be a role model here for a better administration. Because the centralism which Croatia unfortunately has inherited from the socialist past is very problematic and must be changed. Yeah? Um, federal Croatia, meaning power to the region, six or seven regions, Austria style, is much better for the development of this country. You have a lot of problems in underdevelopment in eastern Slavonia, in Vukovar. So look at the mountains, beyond the mountains, because here, probably on that side of the mountains, one of the richest real estate in Europe, yeah? most expensive. Absolutely, it's booming. And Dubrovnik, it's the coast. They yeah, absolutely, but that's not the whole of Croatia. And then many people, if they don't want to work in the tourism industry, the coast, they go to Germany and Austria. And why is that? It's important to understand. It is the policy of centralism, of failed socialist centralism. And I'm very angry on that one because. It's a beautiful country. These are all amazing Venetian palaces here, beautiful. And then uh, this island of prosperity has been created here, and it's a big success. I'm very happy about it. But why is not all of Croatia as rich as Dubrovnik? It is absolutely possible. Look at how beautiful it is. And here I say it's federalism. <laughs> that is the answer. It must be power to the regions. There must be a strong European development agent. There must be focus on the regional representation and the economic development, like we have it in Austria or in Steiermark. Steiermark is much richer than most of the regions. Maybe the Zagreb and Dubrovnik are already catching up. It's highly possible. You have to see the yearbook numbers of Eurostat. But the truth is, yeah, then the other regions, and especially beyond that mountains, <laughs> once the direct prosperity of the sea and the mega tourism, the yachting industry and the big hotel is gone, Croatia is not so developed. Right away. And then I call my a bit. <laughs> Do you remember the debate we had in the 90s about the French uh, constitution? <laughs> Centralism, of course I understand the logic that in the time of war, no, when you are in war, then you need to be patriotic, defend the country, so everything must be decided on the top. But in time of peace, Croatia, we of course all are in war with Russia, directly a military confrontation for the EU and so Croatia at the moment it's economic, fiscal and political confrontation. We have to win the by better results. So that many things I'm very happy with Croatia. I will now release the first one is about the issue of federalism and centralism. Because the failed socialism of the past is a big problem. Yeah, it's a big problem. And everybody says, oh, everybody wants to leave the country. Yeah? Who wants to leave such a beautiful country <laughs> if it's working? But it's not working good enough. And the reason is that you develop like a socialist country, centralistic. And centralism kills opportunities in the regions. And then you have this mega tourism metropolis and split and you have this big harbor as Rijeka, so the coast is giving all these opportunities, but you fail. It is utterly unnecessary. You just need to listen to the video. No, just kidding, but I'm absolutely correct in that one. The situation is Croatia change tech and then all these amazing opportunities of this beautiful country will be released in its entirety. But that's the idea of federalism. Power to all people. Power to all regions. 
monopolization of all opportunities on a competitive basis. We in Austria had a friend of mine elected governor of Steiermark. He loves Croatia. Why don't you take Steiermark out of this here? Powerful institutional of governance and a and more regional development. And not only the five-star hotel somewhere in Dubrovnik, because that you have already done. <laughs> then you wonder, why is not the next level happening, Günther? Yeah, it's also because you waited 10 years for the Euro. Bad. You kept the taxes like in Austria. Very bad. <laughs> And you didn't decentralize and give the economic decision-making authority for the development authorities to the regions. Because you have this idea that then they will run away because of the war and uh, the crisis. And then the Croatian presidency had this wonderful idea of a Vukovar project. Yes, very good. But who must be the Vukovar project? Give them the power. Give them the institutions. Give them the right for development to everything in Zagreb. That's the problem of Croatia. And that's the problems I will check this video here on this afternoon in the most amazing town because of course Kota is the most amazing town. I'm a bit competitive. <laughs> you know what is the when they ask me what is the nice country I say Albania and then they don't like me in Montenegro. I love all these countries, you know, in Europe we are not biased. That's the misunderstanding the Serbs always have. Like we don't like countries, eh? we don't like people. Just a question what they do. <laughs> if you kill other people, I'm certainly will fight you with tooth and nail. If you are genocidal with us, we will call the Americans to pump the shit out of you. If it's necessary. But if you are decent, and you want part of us, let's be together. Croatia is the role model for Montenegro. I call Croatia to support us in the Western Balkans and not to do tribal policy like they are currently unfortunately doing. That's the situation here. I reached now the start of the old town and I will show you the sea. Otherwise you see me Oh, very good. Not just walk and talk, but also a bit of Dubrovnik. It's so beautiful here. Wow, amazing. Just shortly here. That's not good enough. I apologize. But sadly, I have to move onwards and upwards to Bosnia to show you that beautiful country as well. And that's a very good topic. Very unhappy with Croatians. Bosnia politics. Because that's some kind of tribal politics, which is not good enough. This is now very good. Here I see one beautiful place. Wow. It's open. Electronic. Very good. I hope I'm not disturbing anybody here. Will I be chased away? Very good. Nobody immediately threatening me with alarms. This is one of the things which still exist in this beautiful country. You cannot believe it. Such a villa, such wealth, such amazing prosperity was once the reality here. Oh no, I'm that looks for an American billionaire. Not my league of property, but very nice. I'm now trespassing. I hope they will not shoot me, but it's obviously very nice here. Look at it, wow. Wow, there is the big swimming pool down there. That's amazing, I've never seen that one. That's a big time development here, can you imagine? This was one property once. What a beautiful discovery I have made now. Wow, 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 wow. And here you can see this. No, it's not easy to see. I have to go on the other side, I think, to show you that beautiful swimming pool development. But that's also a very nice house. My rant against Croatian foreign policy has brought me to this wonderful place. 
Yeah, the well fit there. Once the security is at the Adriatic, because the problem is here always the security. Now we have the sixth fleet, yeah. and that's NATO. And so the SPs. And we are good. They will hopefully not chase me away before I leave. Uh, lock me in as the dangerous video podcaster, Mr. Vucic has somehow detected. But I will show you that Bazen. Not seen that. The rational thing is not to walk and talk you through video podcast, but to sit and swim there. But that's how it is. The choices are made. I have to go on to Bosnia. And no time for swimming, no time for fun. Only podcasting, podcasting until the breakdown. <laughs> and then I hope when you bear with me and my many rants on European or Croatian policy. Wow, here, here we are. Bellevue. Very good. This seems to be. I don't know if there is a way for me to enter that. I don't think so. They probably have a kind of channel, you know, and then you cannot really see what's going on price list. Okay, very good. The, that's a beach bar. Okay, very good. And then I can now here there's a glimpse of the future that could be yours. Very good, wonderful place down there to swim that's the big beach and it has also a big party zone as you see or a kind of swimming area attached to it where my eyes can see it I cannot but I will in a second have the opportunity to discover one more beautiful place in Dubrovnik for you and here wow that's a renovated stone house that's uh, my favorite actually very good, very good, very good. Apartment block, obviously. And here I think it's possible to see that beautiful bay. That's basically the beach of Dubrovnik to my best. Yeah, exactly. Here the beach of Dubrovnik. Very beautiful. Wow, how nice. Beautiful development. The big swimming pool I cannot see, but here are several big hotels and beautiful it is blocked with a chain and here there's not a lot of leisure how that works is probably connected to this beach bar this big swimming pool i cannot show you now i don't go there but it's nice it's beautiful amazing Dubrovnik. what a wonderful place i'm happy i have this small short afternoon here to see to see and show you that amazing beauty. Yes, it's very nice here, but political situation. I'm not, I'm not happy. This is the president. The president of your beautiful country is annoying me every single day. When I read, I stop to follow him. Yeah, wow, how nice. And the swimming pool I cannot show you. But you have seen some of this beautiful inside. And it's very, very nice. Obviously, they go to the beach. That's a bunker part. Very good. This is the entry to the beach bar. And this is the smart thing to do when you're here. But I have some other plan because I want to make a statement for Montenegro support. Whenever I can do that, no. I need to find the right place and the right timing to get this done wherever that could be I don't know but I will find out very good for Hollywood yes what a beautiful place this amazing villa very nice and then you have this amazing park and I remember from my December tour that's the way forward towards this beautiful place, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful, fancy mobility stuff, and here the road towards this beautiful villa. Some million visit for the rich and happy, and 
we continue this small tour through Dubrovnik on this beautiful 9th of July. Now the big week starts on the Balkans with the Srebrenica massacre genocide day 11th, the 13th of July, the Berlin Congress Independence Day, the 12th of July, the Holy Peter day for the Orthodox. So we are heading to a big on many, many important issues for Balkan politics. And I'm happy to be here and happy to walk and talk to you through the history of the in the Adriatic, a very special place. And here you see the beauty of it all. It's amazing, amazing here. The big hotel beach I just showed you and the that I don't know the exact meaning of this one because I'm your worst informed podcaster but there is a special meaning of that one which I will find out I read in some guides and over there of course somewhere in the mountains not exactly here but a bit more in the south is then Dubrovnik uh, mountain this beautiful country and here you see this amazing place. It's so beautiful. And you see here as well the beach back there again. And obviously what you see here very well, the European Union with its collection targets. Here another beach swimming pool, very beautiful. That's a big luxury hotel. I don't know the name, but that's of course fantastic. Yeah? That seems to be the hotel accommodation in terraces. And then the big swimming pool down there and then the options for some water sports motorized and swimming in the sea very beautiful very beautiful here <laughs> i will stop now make photos and keep you posted in another video not to be too long with one okay guys thanks a lot bye